Hi, this is Shane and welcome to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And um can't remember if I did this last I don't think I did this on camera last week. I um I did a few things. You may notice on the right hand side of my screen catch 50 fish is completed. I did sit around and catch 50 fish. I've also been in the in the nether. So I was trying to kill some ghast and kill a thousand mobs. But um yeah, that's going very slowly. But I don't know if there is a reward for catching for for catching 50 fish. We'll have to look and see. Also, if you look down on my bar, I have some very sparkly loot crates, very special ones. I got those while killing mobs, so I thought I'll wait to come on stream before um on stream when well, I'm streaming I wait till I started recording so then we could look at them together and also I've made updates I've made heads for my axe and my pickaxe because cobalt wraps ramps up the durability um, by tons it is absolutely amazing so I already put I already put a um, a cobalt plate head on my on my um axe not my axe on my hammer the large plate is cobalt because then i don't have to keep um i don't have to keep replacing it and then i was going to put it on the pickaxe head and i went to put it in and saw how much dur i mean it pr pretty much doubles the durability so that's pretty awesome and also i thought i might as well do my axe head as well there's my axe let's see 820 are you not going no why is not not going to oh it already has a cobalt axe head ah i don't remember doing that that's a bit random okay well let's put that back into smelt and then that should smelt back into two ingots let's have a look yes it's smelting it should give us back um let's see what is there's 50 in there so we should get 52 at some point and let's open these sparkly loot crates dim lit parcel another dim lit parcel and storage upgrades oh nice okay storage upgrades i can deal with that's nice Dimlet parcels, not so much. Um, I think the logs, we always have enough log. We always need loads of logs. And take those out as well. Yeah, because now... Yeah, that one's cool. So, um, and also, I increased my smeltery. And how I did that, I put in some let me see let's get some cobble i put in some cobble oh, and, oh God, i am such a doofus i forgot to take out the cast so we put it back in an axe head Never mind. Right, let's put it back in because we know it's going to smell. Right, um, to get the bricks, I put in cobble. That will smelt down into seared bricks. And then I use the ingot cast. Well, that would, no, actually, that would melt into seared stone. And then I use the ingot cast to put it into seared bricks and then use those to make the blocks. So, yeah, so they didn't have to go the whole grout having to make grout and clay and all the other things we had to jump through hoops for. I don't have to do that. There you go. So it goes into seared stone. And then um, I think one one block of cobble will give you one brick of seared stone. All right, so that was those two. This should, also, this should almost be finished. And then we can see how many how many ingots it should give us back to because we haven't used it if we had used it then um it would have we wouldn't have been able to smelt it back okay it's almost done oh it's one ingot nope two 
because one's already in there. Yeah, so it gave us back our two ingots. Right, so um, I'm trying to get organized slowly. All the ores to be processed are in here. I'm putting them in one at a time because you do have um, the danger of um, alloying where you get to, you get a mixture and I don't want that, not at the moment. Let's shove that there and the axe cast head. I can right click it into this, the pattern chest. So it's got all my patterns here. Right, we're going to need the gear cast this week though. So, right, I think that's everything that I did. Um, I enchanted my my um, my rod and I enchanted my bow. So then I'd get have a better chance of... Um, maybe I should have made... I don't know. Right, I think I may put some extra things on here. I don't think I did that on, on camera, on, on, um, on my sword. So it has a silver sword blade and it has um it has some modifiers so that should deal some nice damage when we go back into the into the nether. Right, so enough waffling on. Let's get on with today's episodes. So, um two weeks ago we made the cyan antimatter, the yellow antimatter, and we made Osmium, two osmium and two manganese ingots. Now we want to make the vac vacuumulate vacuumulator. That's a thing. Okay. I don't know what it does. Hold shift. Create collects items in an area. Okay. So that's what we need. So we need to make a hopper, a device frame, two iron gears, and a redstone server. Servo. And we need a copper gear. Okay, so a gear is how many? Is it four ingots? Does it tell you? No. All right, let's have a look at the pattern. Is there no gear? Gear pattern? Let's have a look. Uh, stencil table. Oh, there's no gear pattern. Okay. All right. I'm assuming it's four. I think it's four. I don't know why. All right, so we want iron. One, two, three, four. And copper. And we want the gear cast. So take that out. Take the ingot. Turn it off for a second. Right, I don't think there was anything in here, right? No. So let's put the copper in first. I think that should smelt pretty fast. While we're waiting for that, actually, let's check and see if there's any reward for... Um... Oh, yeah, there is reward for fish. We get a squid trophy. Oh, what does that do for you? Maybe it might give us black ink. Oh my god. No, um, oh god. Really? Really? It's a water source. It's a freaking water source. Alright, thanks but no thanks. Okay, well, at least we now know what it does. It gives you water. Next time I have one of these things, I'm going to open it far away from it. The, la the last thing was the the shulker box thing, and it just threw you up in the air. This throw... Oh, never mind. That's what I get. Right, we will sort that out later. Let's put you out here somewhere where we don't need you. Next to the deep dark portal, because we don't like the deep dark. Um, right, we wanted, oh, we've got four ingots, let's see if that works. It looks like it might be four. Yep, it is four, excellent. 
All right, let's put the iron. How many iron gears did we need, though? Um, accumulator. We wanted two, so we need another four iron. Okay. We're going to have to go mining soon. Oh, and I want Richard Hatch as well. All right, let's stick you in. Let's take this out. I think we need glass. I don't think we need... I don't think we have any glass. Do we have any sand? I didn't think about that. Uh, sand. We need a normal furnace for that. Um... Alright, there's one iron gear. The other one should be going. Right, I have a thing here. Vacuumulator. Okay, device frame. We need four pieces of glass. And we need the two blocks we made last time. Okay. And that is, there's two there, two there. Oh, that needs to be smelted. And these need to be smelted. I don't think there was anything else. No. Let's add this to the chest while we're walking round. There's our other iron gear. Okay, device frame. What are we missing? Glass. We didn't pick it up. Okay. It's the device frame. Redstone servo, piece of iron and two bits of redstone. We could make that over here. What are we missing? Oh, hopper. Okay, and we have our accumulator. Um, here. And we get a wood to iron chest upgrade. Okay, that's nice. This block, this block sucks. And a drop of evil. We have that because I don't think we got that very early not even sure how I think I killed some wither skeletons and got a drop of evil so we do have it we only want one well, how does it tell you to get it though um, click right click on dirt Drop of evil, okay. Carbon and sulfur around gunpowder. But we had, so that's fine. And we have dirt, that is excellent. Are we going to make a mob farm, I wonder? Because it does tell you... Yeah, very useful for making a mob farm. I wonder if we have to make like a mob farm but would anything spawn in the overworld? Maybe we'd have to put it in um, in the deep dark and let mobs spawn there and then go in and kill them. I don't know. We'd have I'd have to have a think about what I want to do with that because obviously the accumulator will um, or it will soak up any anything that we that the mobs drop. Now you see we had iron in here. So let's put that in. Oh, so it now takes 30. Okay, that's not too bad. 
All right, so we've done that. And the next thing, scan, scandium. And that's scandium SC. So we take 16, so we need a stack of scandium. And of course now, trying to find that, so let's, All right, that's what we want, scandium. Did we make that? I don't even know if we made it. Um, I don't think there's anything on top there. I looked in that one, didn't I? Yeah, I think that might have been the first one we looked in. Nothing there. Did we actually make that? SC, SC, SC. Not seeing any SCs. I see lots of S's. Oh, there you go. Scandium. We have 60. We need four more. How do you make Scandium? Um, yellow antimatter. Okay. And I, oh, I just saw some yellow antimatter somewhere. Where that? Oh, there you go. Let's take half a stack. Actually, might as well take all of it. Because it's fairly easy to make. That has nothing in it. Okay. Oh, I made the mistake of eating a puffer fish. Do not eat a puffer fish. Raw. I'm guessing you have to cook it. But, um, ate a puffer fish. It gave me nausea and poison. Not a fun time. I mean in game obviously, not in real life, <laughs> but yeah, don't eat a puffer fish in game. Alright, we have enough scandium now to make scandium ingots. No, nope. combiner. Press A to bookmark it. Yes. And okay, cool. And we wanted four, which is fine. All right, no rewards. And then they want a machine frame, which is scandium and in indium. Okay. Do we have? indium there you go and what other we need iron i'm guessing oh tin gears which we did and any glass so we need eight four more glass we have tin gears do we have any sand i think it was in this one or did we use all of our sand we need one more block of sand. Sand is silicon, I believe. Let's get a stack of that. Combiner, unlock recipe. Sand for silicon. See, I remembered. I might as well take the whole stack because you will need sand for stuff. Uh, no. Oh, I had fish in there. Might as well churn down a stack while we're doing it. Let's put this iron over here. You know what? I don't know what will happen if you put glass into... If you put sand in the inventory, if it would... Okay, let's have a look. A little bit of an experiment. Okay, we are waiting for our block of sand. Our block of sand, our glass. Just one more. Right. 
So what is it that we were supposed to make? Machine frames. Okay. Machine. Frame. That's what we wanted. Are we supposed to make four, right? Or just one? It didn't ding, so I'm guessing we had to make four. Ah, all right, indium, scandium. How did we make those? I don't remember. Ah. Okay, we need more sand. I think I probably have enough to make another one. Yeah. So we need to make more indium and scandium and that is probably going to be from um scandium. So more cyan antimatter. Didn't I see some somewhere? I really wish that I could make some more um drives so I could put everything in what am I looking cyan antimatter although that is probably white antimatter and barium okay where did the white antimatter go there's two there because we have plenty of barium um, I may have, there's one there, didn't we have like stacks of the stuff or did we use it all up? May have used it all up. Yeah, I think I may have used it all up. Okay, in that case, let's just have a quick look. Let's take that out. Yeah, let's just have a quick look. But if that's the case, there's 10 more. Still need another four. Uh, we might be able to. Might just have, you need a stack of barium. As for here, there's more sand here. Awesome. Nope. Um, any in here? No, there's orange. I think I may have used up all of it. So in that case, let me go and mine up. How many do I need? Another 30, uh, 30, another 20, and 26. Let me go mine up some and then I will be back in a minute. 10, okay, right. Um, white antimatter. as a stack of that. Actually, I can make some more. Did I look out for yellow antimatter? I didn't, so don't make any more yet, Shane. Um, yellow antimatter is sulfur. And now I've got more sulfur somewhere. And sulfur. Let's see how much we can get out of these. Okay, right. Um, yellow antimatter. And cyan antimatter, that's what we really wanted. Indium. We're not getting much Indian. Indi, Indi, Indium. Okay, I'm going to have to go off. 
because that's not enough so I'm going to go do some more mining and um, again I'll be back okay I'm back I have enough scandium now to make what we were making which I now can't remember um, oh pineapple pizza the pineapple pizza in here you just need uh, five bread and a tea I didn't realize that so yeah that was that was interesting that was absolutely awesome I didn't realize that so I made lots so that I've got stuff to eat that just reminded me no that's what I wanted to do I don't think it's as good as the cooked apples but you know it will do cooked apples will still keep giving to the culinary generator and the pineapple pizza will eat it um right we were making machine frames that's what we were doing machine am I going to have fat fingers like last time machine casing no machine frame and we wanted to make two so that's four machine frames there we go and then from there what do they want compactor phytogenic isolator they're all basic pulverizer and induction smelter okay let's go around compactor okay you need bronze we need magnesium I have magnesium to smelt down let's smelt that down um, oh did I turn this off I did okay well then I don't oh one block of molten glass okay hold on let's turn you off um if we actually if we how many blocks do we have in there eight blocks three ingots all right you might have to do this by hand then because if i can ba if i balance it out then i can switch around the um I can switch round the redstone clock and let it have it come out in blocks because obviously having it come out in blocks takes a lot longer but then you get more bang for your buck and the glass that we have in there it's molten glass and it's just one block okay it's not going to give us any will that give us an ingot? no and so then we can pour it back in does that give you really clear glass I wonder I think in the back of my head it yeah clear glass so then usually minecraft glass has like streaks in it this gives you really clear glass all right let's move this over I know it doesn't make sense because yes I haven't set it up to transport into there all right never mind but I had set this up to get obsidian that's why I knew there was a reason why all right let's put the clear glass in here block of iron we'll break that down in a second and that's our apples going let me see what else what was they doing all right we wanted to see actually no you know what I'm going to leave it a little bit early this week I'm gonna leave it a little bit early because I'm not going to have enough time to get stuff that could get everything ready for next week and we can make those because also those machines are going to present a drain on our power so I can hook though I could get everything ready for next week we'll make them because what do we need for the compactor you need copper gears machine frame we need a piston okay for 
the phytogenic isolator. Using phytogrow and water and sunlight, you can grow any plant inside this machine. That looks good. So we need dirt, thallium. Do we have thallium? We must have thallium. Where do you, what do you get thallium from? From soul sand. We must have thallium. I think we have thallium. Um, we're pulverizer. More gears. So we need lots of copper gears. Two pistons. And the induction smelter. Arsenic. Arsenic you get from arsenic sulfide. Or arsenic. Or crushed arsenic. Interesting. Crushed arsenic. Arsenic. Rock crusher. How do you make the rock crusher? Alright, that ain't happening. Ah, that's interesting. Um, induction smelter. Arsenic. Is that... Can... Oh, we can only get it from combining. Arsenic sulfide from pink dye. Okay, pink... Oh, 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 hold on. If we can get it from pink dye... Pink tulips, so that means we need to... I need to start bone mealing, maybe? Or getting... Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna have to make some stuff. Quern. What's a quern? Ooh. Peonies. Okay. Well, anyway, that's what that's what we'll do next week, and get our our machines down. Uh, steel. The gods of Al Atom smile upon you. Okay. Submit ten million fe. How and what? Aqueous accumulator and fluid pump. Create a water obtaining thingy. Okay, that's technical. Energy production. Okay, we're going to have to start looking at making more energy. That is, so yeah, so next week that's what we're going to have to look at. I'm going to have to put, start planting more food so we can make tons of pizza. Although this has the, the thing where you're supposed to um, eat lots of different foods and stuff. But we're going to, we'll, we'll have a look. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.